Hi guys, my name's Jared. Welcome back to my channel. Um, we're just gonna jump right in because I have work in two hours and that means I have to have this video done recording in like an hour. So that doesn't give me a lot of time. I did my full face off camera so you guys know the process from the last video, at least for this look. Um, I'm going to put baking powder under my eyes just to make sure there's no fallout or anything. And yeah, let's just jump right into how I got this look. Um, I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. I'm going to prime my eyes with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. I'm going to do this eye because I know, like, usually I start off with this eye when I'm, like, first doing a look. But since I already did this look, I kind of have a feel of what I'm doing. Because every time I'm confident, like, something goes wrong. But here we are. Let's be confident today. So first, I'm just going to take a kind of, like, angled blending brush and go in with Q. And I'm just going to press this onto my eyes, like so. And I want to press it because I want the most amount of pigment. This is like such an easy look, which is why I wanted to do it because it's so simple and I got a lot of good feedback on it. So if you want to do it, it's I just want to show you like how simple this look was to do. And then I'm just going to take a um, rounded blending brush and just feather out that shadow on the top here. I'm just going to take another brush similar to that. And I'm going to go into this Brain Freeze light blue shade. And just press that on the outer corner. And then kind of just blend it in with that pastel green shade. Um, I'm going to take this brush right here that I've been blending with. And just kind of brush through with that blue. And even take a little bit of the blue onto this brush and maybe go over the green lightly to give it a nice blend on the top right there. And to emphasize that green a little bit more, I'm just going to go in with the, this uh, blending brush and go over it to emphasize it a little bit more and then again blend more like blend your life away literally now that we got the shadow laid down i'm gonna cut the crease i took a little concealer on the back of my hand and i'm just pressing in my brush um with this i don't know what brush this is it's just like a flat concealer brush really and I'm going to start from the inner corner and just carve out like a little curve. And I'm going above my crease. I have a really um, hooded crease and it definitely creases a lot. And I hate that about my eyes, but we're just going to work around it. Notice how I'm stamping on the concealer, not just swiping it on because then it gets messy. It also keeps the edges very precise, which is what we want in a cut crease. So now that we cut the concealer, hold on, I see edges that need to be fixed. Hold on one second. We're going to go in with this small pointer brush and go in with cute and kind of blend out that crease. And just kind of place this over Slightly on the crease to feather it out and get a nice blend going. And make sure you're tapping on it and not swiping because you don't want that concealer getting messy. Just like so. And now we're going to go in with the concealer brush into Jawbreaker. And we're just going to place that right on top of the concealer.
And now I'm going to go back in with a pointing brush into cute again and lay that down to make sure we got the most perfect blend that we could get. Oh, inner corner. For your inner corner highlight, you can use literally any highlight you want. I'm going to use the Anastasia and Marizi highlighter. Put that in my inner corner. And then slightly up on the concealer. And then on my brow bone. Just like so. Alright, so I'm going to pop on some mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. Alright y'all, so I just did the second eye off camera. I'm going to wipe away this powder that's been on my face for about an hour now. Okay, so really I'm just going to do, I did blush already, so we're going to do highlight together and then lips. So for the lips, I used Sagittarius by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Do you see a trend on my YouTube page? Literally, it's just like all Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I'm going to let this lipstick dry real quick. And we're going to do the highlight while this dry. So for highlight, I used uh, Lunch Money. I'm going to take a sponge and I'm just going to dip in. And then we're just going to place this everywhere where I usually highlight. So we're in here. such a nice radiance to the face. Just like this. So. And I see a little ish. see some issues with my under eyes, so I'm just going to fix it real quick. Okay. And then lastly for the lips, I just went in with a lip highlight, honestly. Honestly, instead of going in with a highlight, I'm going to go in with this liquid lipstick and a uh, very white shade. It's in shade Drug Lord by uh, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And we're just going to put it, this in the center to highlight it, like, naturally. And then just kind of, like, blend it out a little bit. That cute? Next time I'm just going to stick with the nude look. I think this whole look is cute. Lastly, I'm going to finish this look off by taking my new favorite setting spray by Ron Beer Villamil. This is going to be in the shade Amethyst Lights. And we're just going to give it a nice little spray. Yep. And this is the completed look, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I really wanted to um, just do a quick video and not make all of my videos so long. So if you enjoyed this, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next round.